Hey everyone, welcome to this weekend Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for August 26th to the 28th of 2016. I'm Athen and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so this weekend we are still in the third quarter phase, which is a good time to challenge ourselves. Uh, like I was talking about yesterday with the uh, Grand Cross and all of this. Essentially what we've got is we've got a solar eclipse next week. And we had a full moon last week. So we're at this middle point between these significant times of challenging ourselves to take action, to uh, move things forward. Uh, but it doesn't always mean, you know, specifically like uh, external things. It might be action to meditate or it might be action to, you know, have some more acceptance in our life and do that spiritual work. So uh, but the point here is we have to set intentions. We have to be proactive uh, at this time to, in this case, again, challenge ourselves to develop both personally and spiritually. So this weekend, we are going to have uh, a couple aspects that will be important, particularly with that Grand Cross I was talking about yesterday on Friday uh, when we have Mars squaring up to Neptune. So on this day, it's going to be very important to have the non-attachment uh, as best as we can. Like I've been talking about, allowing the ego to take the back seat, you know, to have awareness if there's things we want, our desires, you know, really living in the present moment and bringing that conscious light to the ego uh, is really the key with this kind of aspect. And in that way, we become much more accepting. You know, we accept our situations uh, much easier. We accept people, you know, our relationships. We even accept ourselves. Uh, but that's the challenge, right, with all squares is to is to set the intention to do that and actually, you know, will ourselves to be present and have that uh, extra attention there. So good to challenge ourselves there. Good to take that initiative and uh, see where we can, um, you know, move things forward there, even though it may not be easy, at least not collectively. All right. So that's uh, Friday. Also on Friday, we are going to have the moon in Taurus, uh, just like it was on Thursday, em emphasizing the uh, inner and outer resources. Right. When the moon's in Taurus, it's really good to, first of all, connect with our inner resources, such as our uh, self-reliance, our sense of self-worth, our natural gifts and natural abilities. And then when it comes to the external environment, uh, enjoying the simple life, you know, within moderation. Again, the squares, you know, they have a tendency to imbalance themselves. So it is important here to have moderation when it comes to uh, the simple pleasures and uh, but, you know, stopping to smell the roses, so to speak, along that life journey, you know, enjoying and being grateful for what we have in life. So that's going to be on Friday, the moon in Taurus. And then as we go into Saturday, the moon will be shifting into Gemini. The moon will be in Gemini on Sunday as well, emphasizing the more intellectually stimulating uh, aspect of things makes it a very good weekend for learning, doing any type of reading, writing, um, exchanging ideas with others, maybe getting involved in community or with our peers, uh, maybe spending time with our siblings is often the case with uh, Gemini. But anyways, uh, really tapping into that intellectual and communicative side of ourselves, whether it's internally or externally. I think can be great. Now, Saturday, Venus is going to be conjoining up to Jupiter, which is actually a very nice aspect, uh, bringing in a bit of buoyancy in those relationships, collectively speaking, and maybe even a bit of buoyancy there with the, with the enjoyments of life on that material level. So the key with this is that it's all in Virgo, and Virgo has been emphasizing a bit of the methodical approach to our relationships and our values. So I think it's important here to keep that extra attention on self in terms of how we can improve, how we can develop spiritually and personally, which is what Virgo is really about. And in that way, it keeps everything nice and balanced so that we're you know enjoying things in moderation. Uh, but usually with conjunctions, it doesn't tend to uh, imbalance things very much. Uh, but, uh, you know, Jupiter does expand things. So we do want to have extra attention there. So we are enjoying things and our relationships in a, you know, moderate and uh, balanced sort of way there. All right. So that's good, too, in terms of maybe some new insights, actually, about relationships, maybe feeling quite uh, uh, philosophical, like discussing our worldview and things like that can be nice. Also, maybe even connecting to nature, expanding those horizons. So that's Saturday. Then Sunday with that uh, moon in Gemini still, still in that mercurial, you know, intellectually stimulating part of the sky. 
Uh, we do have Mercury going over Venus, who is going to go retrograde next week. So he is slowing down, right? And this is the, um, you know, the actually good placement of Mercury, which is that our minds are methodical. You know, we're able to see the details right now and work on the details. So it uh, can be a great weekend for that. And uh, things are slowing down. So I think it's good to have that extra attention there on the everyday experiences, on the mind. Again, just like on Friday, you know, on the mind in terms of the ego and that kind of a thing. But uh, very nice to have Mercury over Venus. And in that way, maybe enjoying some of those, again, communication in those relationships, intellectually stimulating conversations and uh, new values shaping up about um, you know what we understand about things and new new, new ideas perhaps and uh, reading and writing and all this can be very enjoyable as well all right so uh, that's the weekend in a nutshell uh, Friday is a bit different from Saturday and Sunday and that the moon will be in Taurus and we're still finishing up this energy from Thursday really emphasizing the spiritual development the presence the acceptance uh, with Mars, with our desires and our needs in life, really accessing that understanding and acceptance. Then as we go into Saturday, uh, a bit of buoyancy in those relationships, a bit of that expansive view there, and uh, maybe quite communicative or intellectual, especially on Sunday too, uh, once Mercury gets close to Venus, really bringing in that mental stimulation with our relationships and helping us understand some new things that we value. All right, so I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on Monday.